Hello all, in this video we are going to discuss the application process for the master's course in Embedded Systems Engineering at the Dortmund University of Applied Sciences. So this is a public university in Germany and the tuition fee for the university is absolutely zero. Also the application fee for the university is zero as well. So you can apply for that. Uh, the most important thing about the application is the process of application is in two parts so in this video itself we are going to talk about the part one of it and um, it will be a pre-check application uh, process so basically the first part is pre-check application or a pre-check process or uh, and the second part is the main application so hello guys welcome to the channel this is Vikas and let's go Without wasting any time, let us dive into the video. So this is the Dortmund University of Applied Sciences and Arts official website. All the details about the study programs uh, as an international student or as a student from a non-EU country. Like for example, I am from India and uh, all those who are applying from other than European Union countries, they can watch this video and all those who are applying fr from the EUs, uh, they can also refer this video because the process will be quite uh, related to that only. So let us go to the program section. Now in the programs, uh, you will see the catalog for all the master's program available at the university and uh, in this video itself, uh, I will be telling you the process for applying at uh, for this course for the embedded systems engineering course you can apply for other courses as well the process will be very similar to that of uh, embedded systems engineering so let us go to the official website for the for the course website of embedded systems engineering so this is the course website for embedded systems engineering you will get to see all the information about the course like what the course is all about then uh, what uh, what is the curriculum and the specializations of specializations offered in this course and uh, who can apply for the course also what are the requirements and how the process will be for application every detail has been mentioned on this page as well so before going to the pre-check i will also show you the dart website for the same course so this is the dart website dart.de so this is a very important website you can refer this website for any other courses as well not just this course this is a good website to go through your applications and uh, to shortlist the universities and the courses before starting your application process on this website you will get to see every detail about the course for example the application deadlines and what is the tuition fee for the course and the university then uh, the course details like what you will have uh, what they will teach you in the first semester and then second semester and then um, about the course curriculum then uh, cost and funding what will be the tuition fee that will be zero in this case and the semester contribution will be around 330 euros per semester which will also include your public transport and they have also mentioned the cost of living in the city it will be approximately 800 to 850 euros then the requirements and the language requirement the application deadlines everything has been mentioned on this website as well so let us go to the pre-check okay so this is uh, the application process for the non-eu students so i'll go there as you can see the application deadline is 15 january for the summer semester and 15 july for the winter semester but this 15 july is for the part two i mean the complete process so for the part one or pre-check the application is already open and you have to go through the pre-check so i'll select the this i'll go to uh, go on this link you can see the pre-check uh, application portal website will open they are offering you three master programs I'll be applying to this one. So let us go and start the pre-check. Fine. So I'll be choosing the study program as Masters in Embedded Systems Engineering at uh, Dortmund University of Applied Sciences. Then my personal information, uh, the name, last name, email ID, everything. And uh, note that every information you are filling over here should be according to your passport. So your first name, last name, be sure that make sure that uh, you fill it according to your passport. Did you apply for the pre-check before? So no. And if you have already applied for any uh, previous semesters, you can say uh, yes and select the program what you have applied for. 
year in which you have applied and there will be a pre-check id which will be on your email id so uh, sorry on your email so you will get a pre-check id over there and you can select that so in my case it was it is no previous study so you have to mention your bachelor's details over here for example your program name my program name was this so these are the previous study program details these are my details so i have completed my bachelor's from pune university with this much cgpa and the study program was for eight semester date of completion or the degree date or the degree certification date was this and the study program was bachelor's of engineering in electronics and telecommunication and then you have to upload your degree certificate or your passing certificate if you have not yet passed your degree or in the final year you can also upload your provisional degree certificate which you will get your get it from your university or in from your college as well this is for the indian students specifically then your transcript this will be your academic uh, transcript again if you are in the final year of your study you have to upload your transcript up to the semester you have completed and the the transcript you have to show at the time of enrollment at the university if you are if you are selected for the same okay then language details uh, over here you have to mention your language details i mean uh, what exam you have given is it ilts toefl or any other exam your test scores uh, if it is ilts then uh, it is issue issued from which organization so mine was british council you can uh, people give it from idp as well and whatever organization or uh, the issuing authority is from your country you have to mention it over here then you have to upload the pdf of the document or your result of that english language proficiency test in the additional document you have to upload three documents basically first of all it's your cv then uh, three recommendation letters i would suggest you to merge those and then upload it or if it's possible then upload it separately as well then certificate the, uh, if you have received any certificates or if you if you have uh, done any courses uh, any academic or non academic co curriculum extra curricular activity certification everything you can mention over there and in other details again if you are working anywhere so your work experience letters your internship letters uh, all those details or the, all those uh, documents you can upload over here finally in the comments uh, if you want to state any other thing to the university uh, you can write it here for example any achievements or awards you have received you can write it here at the end you just have to click on the tick box and submit the pre-check so guys this is the complete uh, process i mean not the complete process but the part one of the process now what will happen after this so you will do the part a and uh, you will get a email stating that you have completed the part a or the pre-check uh, process and after a few weeks you will if you are selected for the part two and uh, if you if your profile is evaluated and is being uh, passed uh, so you will get the link for the part 2 and at that time i'll show you how to apply for that so guys this was the video for applying to the dortmund university of applied sciences at the uh, the course is embedded systems engineering this was the part a of the video part 2 will be after a few weeks so thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope this was very helpful for you and if you find uh, any issues or any problems uh, related to the application process of the same you can ping me on my instagram as well so this is my instagram id also you can uh, comment down in the comment box so that me and my team can help you out for the same so thank you guys like the video if you find it informative subscribe to the channel and um, bye bye all the best for your future bye